She did her postdoctoral studies at the Fritz Haber Center for Molecular Dynamics in Israel. Later in the group of Professor Thomas Bally, University of Freiburg, she was involved in developing software to analyze results from quantum chemistry calculations. She then carried out her independent career as the DST Young Scientist, twice at Pondicherry University, an Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad in the Molecular Modeling Group. She has published scientific research articles and, and journals spanning wide-ranging areas of scientific disciplines, which include physics, biology, chemistry, and mathematics. Dr. Atul Shukla, our next esteemed judge, is PhD in physics nanoscience. He is former associate professor and HOD, physics, Sri Ramswaru College of Engineering and Technology. He has 13 years experience of teaching physics in Sri Ramswaru College of Engineering and Technology. He, ha he was awarded the best faculty award in Sri Ramswaru College of Engineering and Technology. He is an expert examiner in various AKT examinations. Our next judge, Mr. Vivek Dadu, is, graduate, is a graduate from IIIT Allahabad. He has worked with Microsoft for seven and a half years. He ran an institute and company, Humble School Private Limited. He has developed and shipped one of the most loved science learning app, Madam Curious. He is currently heading academics at Learnomity, a company pioneering accelerated learning in the country. Our next uh, 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 event was Metamor Metamorphos. This is an event in which the team had to design an innovative working model based on interconversion and conservation of energy. And the uh, judges are Dr. Sarla Balchandran. Dr. Sarla Balchandran is currently working as Chief Se Scientist at CSIR, IGIB, Delhi, with responsibility of heading the HR division of the Institute as a Professor of Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research. She is also working as Coordinator for, for the in Integrated Master's PhD course in Clinical Research for the Public Health Foundation in India and as co-supervisor for PhD student working in the area of evaluating the effects of intake of phytoesterogens in early stages of pregnancy. She was the chief scientist at the CSIR headquarters at New Delhi as project director, open source drug risk discovery. During this time, spearheaded the collaborative project with TB Alliance USA where a phase to be Clinical trial was undertaken with PAMC in MDR TB patients at NITRD, New Delhi. Dr. Balachandran has about 40 publications and patents to her credit. Dr. Harish Kumar Dwivedi, our next esteemed judge, is in charge MUIT Incubation and Innovation Foundation and Professor Maharishi University of Information Technology. He has done PhD in Electronics Engineering Institute of Technology, BHU. He has been Professor and Dean CRC at Maharishi University of Information Technology, Lucknow. He has held the post of Director, MIT School of Applied Sciences and Deputy Director, Research Electronics, MIT School of Engineering and Technology, MIT University, Lucknow. He has been the senior consultant at Samtel Avionics and Defense System R&D head at Samtel Color Limited Sci Scientist at CSIR CEERI Pilani Research Assistant Institute of Technology BHU Scientific Assistant CSIR CEERI Pilani Research Fellow CSIR NPL New Delhi. He holds the distinction of presiding the technical session at International Symposium of Society for Information Display. Dr. Piyush Upadhyay, our next esteemed judge, is MD Pediatrics Gold Medal and DM Pediatric Hepatology. Currently, he is working in Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences, New Delhi, which is an apex institute of world fame and only government institute in India doing patriotic liver transplant. 
He is the first DM patriotic hepatologist in the state of Uttar Pradesh and six in India. He is skilled in patriotic GI endoscopy, liver biopsy and patriotic liver transplant management. He is the assistant professor Ram Manohar Lohia Institute of Medical Sciences, Lucknow. He has several international and national publications to his spread credit. Glad to inform that Dr. Piyush Ubadhyay is an ex-student of City Montessori School in Ranagar campus. We welcome you, sir. Our next event, Rapisotric, is the event in which the participant had to upload one minute video of rap based on the scientific law, principle, theory or story of any invention or discovery. And the esteemed judges are Miss Swati Bhatt. It is a proud moment for City Montessori School Indranagar family to welcome Miss Swati Bhatt, an ex-student of Indranagar campus. Miss Swati Bhatt, a singer and a performer, started learning music at the age of four from her mother, Manju Bhatt, who is a singer in Akashwani, Lucknow. Miss Swati has worked as an anchor and radio jockey for known TV and radio channels. She was a part of reality shows like Idea, Bharat Kishan and Pride of UP, where she was highly recognized for her singing process. She has received UP Women Leadership Award by Illuminate Foundation. She has acted in a Marathi movie directed by Mr. Sachin Pilgaonkar titled Ashiki Ashiki. She's also playing the lead role in Feroz Abbas Khan's musical play Ronak and Jassi. She has released her originals, Vodka with Venus, Man Mera Baura with Sony Live, and Much Me Kahi with T Series. Her latest single, Khab Chale Hain, is released via Before You Music. Our next esteemed judge, Mr. Pranav Trivedi, has done his BA, JNMC, from Subrat Subharti University. He has worked as an intern reporter in a national newspaper. He is the winner in harmonium and dholak playing competition as well as music composing in state level competition. He has worked as an RJ for Radio Shine. He has worked as a digital producer for MVM News. He is the member of Animal Welfare Organization in Municipal Corporation Lucknow. He has done many nukkar nataks on social issues. Currently, he is working as a social worker for a well-known NGO, Vishalakshi Foundation. Our next esteemed judge, Mr. Nishad Chandra, who is a music producer, percussionist and music director. Born into a family and house of musicians, dancers and singers and technicians, Nishad was always destined to take his family name ahead in the field of music. He has to his credits films like Partner Rowdy Rator, Jab Tak Hai Jaan, Dhoom, Rai, Sanju and many, many more in his span of almost 20 years working professionally. He has also produced the song Bariya Bariya for Raju Hirani's film Sanju and the six pack band by Yashraj Films was solely produced by him. He worked on the back score ground, score, uh, background score of Rais with Ram Sampath. He has to his credit many Bollywood songs and jingles and solo projects, having worked with the likes of A.R. Rahman, Shankar Esan Loy, Pritam, Sajid Wajid, Amit Trivedi. He is now looking to move forward and release his own music under his solo banner. Once again, I welcome all our esteemed judges. May I request the principal of City Montessori School in the Ranagar campus, Mrs. Ruchi Bhuvan Joshi, to formally welcome our chief guest. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Raj Mehrotra. I would like to tell you all a little about Dr. Mehrotra. Although the curriculum that he has shared with us says a lot about him, I will only read out it's already 105. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. 
On behalf of City Montessori School Indranagar campus, I would like to welcome our esteemed judges and participants in this online competition, Rapasoteric. May I now take this opportunity to invite our judges for the event. Ms. Swati Bhatt is a singer and a performer. Started learning music at the age of four from her mother, Mrs. Manju Bhatt, who is a singer in Akashwani, Lucknow. Ms. Swati has worked as an anchor and radio jockey for known TV and radio channels. She was a part of reality shows like Idea, Bharat Ki Shan, and Pride of UP, where she was highly recognized for her singing process. She has received UP Women Leadership Award by Illuminate Foundation. She has acted in a Marathi movie directed by Mr. Sachin Pilgaukar titled Ashihi Ashiki. She is also playing the lead role in Feroz Abbas Khan's musical play Ronak and Jassi. She has released her originals, Vodka with Venus, Man Mera Bawra with Sony Live, and Mujme Kahi with T Series. Her latest single, Khab Jale Hai, is released via Before You Music. It is a proud moment for City Montessori School Indranagar family to welcome Ms. Swati Bhatt, an ex student of Indranagar campus. Our next esteemed judge, Mr. Pranav Trivedi, is a BA JNMC from Subharti University. He has worked as an intern reporter in a national newspaper. He is the winner in harmonium and dholak playing competition, as well as music composing in state le level competition. He has worked as an RJ for Radio Shine. He has worked as a digital producer for MVM News. He is the member of Animal Welfare Organization in Municipal Corporation, Lucknow. He has done many Nukkar Nataks on social issues. Currently, he is working as a social worker for a well-known NGO, Vishalakshi Foundation. We welcome you, sir. Our next esteemed judge, Mr. Nishad Chandra, is a music producer, percussionist, and music director. Born into a family and house of musicians, dancers, and singers, and technicians, Mr. Nishad was always destined to take his family name ahead in the field of music. He has to his credit films like Partner, Rowdy Rator, Jab Tak Hai Jaan, Doom, Rais, Sanju, and many more in his span of almost 20 years working professionally. He has also produced the song Badiya Badiya for Raju Hirani's film Sanju and the six pack band by Yashraj Films was solely produced by him. DSK, Shiv DSK Shivajian's football team anthems and Pune Strikers hockey team anthem music was produced and performed by him. He worked on the background score of Rais with Ram Sampath. He has to his credit, many Bollywood songs and jingles and solo projects. Having worked with the likes of A.R. Rahman, Shankar Esan Loy, Pritam, Sajid Wajid, Amit Trivedi, he is now looking to move forward and release his own music under his solo banner. We, I, we once again welcome all our esteemed judges in this event. May I request the principal of City Montessori School in Ranagar campus, Mrs. Ruchi Bhuvan Joshi, to formally welcome our judges. Thank you, Mr. Philip. I'm honored to be welcoming these honored judges, one of whom happens to be our own ex-student. Welcome back, Swati Ma'am and Nishad Chandra. Welcome to this program, Repositoric for the senior section. And once again, like yesterday, you are, yesterday you had judged the 
smaller children. Today you are going to judge the senior children. I'm sure it's going to be music to your ears also. These children are working very hard. And uh, yesterday I could see you completely involved in the program that was going on, swaying to the music and enjoying. And once or twice, I remember I could see you doing this as well. So all this was going on and I really appreciate your enjoying this and working for the children. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. I extend a very warm welcome from Indranagar family to you once again of City Montessori School. All the participants, all the best children do very, very well. You are the young people we depend upon. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, Philip. Over to Mrs. Alpna Mehrotra to tell us more about the event Rapaswatarik. Thank you, Mr. Philip. Jai Jagat and good afternoon. I will tell you all the rules which you are supposed to follow in this event. The rules are like this. It will be a live event. One participant will represent the school, only one participant. The participant will be required to sing a rap of one minute that will be based on any scientific law, principle, theory, story of discovery or any invention. And the lyrics should be in English only and it should be school appropriate. And the last point is the participants should upload the lyrics on the link which you have already done. Now the criteria Judgment criteria is content, rhythm, use of punchline, creativity and originality, costume and body language, and lastly, background. Now, before starting, I would like to introduce uh, Mrs. Mansi Saxena, who is with me to help me. She'll be keeping the time, record of time as it has to be of one minute only. Ma'am Mansi. Thank you, Alpna ma'am. I now invite team code NC21 to present their rap and I also request team code NC19 to be ready. NC code 18 to be ready, yes. Ma'am, can you repeat the code? I request team code NC21 to present their rap and team code NC18 to be ready. Okay, ma'am. Team MNC21 is requested to present. I think we should start taking the attendance of all the participants first, whether all have joined or not. And Alpana, ma'am, you may please request the participants. For each round, the camera is on. Selected volunteer. Boy, bacha on karega, boy answer karega. Beech mein koi nahi bolega. Main sabko mute kar do. Wo aapko beech mein bolloge na? Ya ye instructions pehle hi jayengi? Ya usi time aap bolloge? If NC twenty one is not ready. NC eighteen. NC18. NC18 is requested to present their rap. NC18. NC18 is requested to present.
present their rap. Yes. Sir, uh, am I audible? Yes, you can be a little louder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Yes, it's better now. Yeah, is it okay? Yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Is it NC one eight eighteen? Yeah, I am NC one eight eighteen from Mount Carmel yes. School. Please proceed. Yeah. Just a second, sir. Uh, good morning, esteemed judges and all the participants. I am Arjun, and I would be going to rap about how was the periodic table discovered and its trends. So please uh, let me rap. Thank you. Bra, it's all about chemistry. Through periodicity, here we go steady. Dob in the end, notice some similarity yes, man, among. Uh, someone interrupted me. Yeah. Uh, someone interrupted. Uh... I request the participants to. not bother about anybody's interruption yes. first request is to not to interrupt and the second request is to not to bother about any interruption you go ahead with your work the judges are here to listen to you they have their ears closed to every other noise or sound okay please don't feel disturbed it's an online event so we do not have actual control over all these things so please don't feel disturbed carry on now voice uh, yeah i was muted am i audible now now it is audible yeah okay uh, can i start sorry sorry for that bra it's all about chemistry through periodicity here we go study Dobindi and notice some similarity among physical and chemical properties. May the law of triads could not meet very high standards. Standards. Then we have the law of octaves. Depends on atomic weight, physical state. The idea not widely accepted. Hey ho, wait, bro, go slow, stay low. The eight note lane, bro. Did it work? I'll say no. Say no. Say no. The scientists now relieve to Kalief, cause our hero Dimitri Mendeleev showed a trick of his leaf fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine in group seventeen. Group seventeen, yo. The problem was hydrogen only. Sit out there on lonely. Came Henry Mosley, gave a feeling homely. On my left side, metals and aldehydes. On my right side, non-metals and noble gases. Side and Cl makes sodium chloride. Al and Fe gives reaction thermite. Lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium, potassium, calcium, rubidium, strontium, all metals, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, all my non-metals used in medicine to keep away them pathogens. Thank you. Judges, kindly note, team NC one eight eighteen took one minute ten seconds. And now I would request team NC forty six to present. And team NC twenty six to be ready. I request team NC forty six to present their wraps. NC twenty six. I request team NC twenty six. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please present your uh, rap. Uh, hello, my name is Shudit Jindal. Uh, good afternoon, judges and teachers. Uh, I'm from CRPF Public School, and I'm going to perform. Uh, I'm going to perform a rap on the three laws of motion given Newton in sixteen eighty six. So, let's start.
the first law states a bit of temporary remain at risk or remotion unless the change. There's only one way this can happen. Of course, if the object comes in contact with some external force, this simple principle is not easy to project, but this is what we mean when we use the term inertia. But if your external force acts on the object, then you can rest assured that the velocity is this constant. Law number two, so velocity can change your okay? When an external force shows up and we are it, those people change in momentum in time, but conservation mass is constant. And this is an extract. Law number two, so velocity can change your Judges, kindly note that team NC26 took 1 minute 14 second. I now request team code 16 to present their rep. Team code NC16. Hello everyone, my name is Shoyom Shokorjo and I hope uh, I'm, I'm, I'm audible and uh, and uh, please allow me to share my computer sound. Yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. Uh, can I share my computer sound, please? Only the sound. Sorry, can you repeat? Can I share my computer sound, please? Yes, you may. But uh, but I can't. I have no permission. Yes, the host may kindly enable. Just wait for a while. Okay. okay. Now you can start. I, I hope my computer sound is audible right now. Is it? Yeah, yes, it is yes. audible. Is my computer sound audible? Okay. Yes, it is. So, uh, hello everyone. I'm Shoyam Shokarjo, and uh, I'm gonna rap about electricity today. And uh, I hope you all enjoy. Yeah. So you wanna know about the greatest discovery of mankind ever? Let's go. Today, I'm a do rap about electricity, which has changed the whole lifestyle and dreams become reality. Everything is running faster and everything is possible. Discovery of electricity is nothing but a miracle. Nikola, Tesla, Thomas Alva Edison, these big names are connected with the electricity's invention. It's used everywhere, starts from bottom, ends in head. If there's no electricity living, things become almost dead. Computer, internet, telephone to mobile set, from office to hotel, police station to motel, shopping malls, factory, shops of grocery, different banks, airport, hospital. Lock out, yeah, car horns, beep, 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 well, you have to like full sleep. There's some disadvantage while using electricity sometimes. It becomes cruel and does not take any pity. But if we be enough careful, then we can prevent the bad. Discovery of electricity has always made us glad. Thank you. Judges, kindly note team code NC16 took 44 seconds. Our night invite team code NC21 to present their rap. Team code NC21. Yeah. 
song. Radioactive, scientific fact. All the side of 1896. And we to Gotta survive out of the blue. I do body but it's true. Want to study X-rays for video activity too. Yeah. Hearing at the bus every year. Sorry, working on the dome and now I envy back your will. Yeah. They took you and me up out of the yard. Left out security was more. Yeah. Long there was more to explore. But to already mess by going to the core. Yeah. Well, I just say there's only the way there's more. There's no giving up until you reach the show. Yeah. Radioactive scientific factor. Thank you. Uh, judges kindly note team NC21 took 55 seconds. I now request team code NC56 to present their rap. Team code NC56 to present the rap. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, ma'am. Ma uh, can you see me, ma'am? We can see you. Ma oh, uh, 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 can you see me now, ma'am? Now we can see you, yes. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Now we can. Uh, so, ma'am, may best. I start? Proceed, Shivam. Okay. Okay, let me take you back to 1856 when I was just a little kid. Knew I was special from a young age and the world on my stage, like Shakespeare, but I science in my veins. Got my degree from Cambridge and became a master of science and even got a prize, which wasn't a surprise, but I was just getting started. In 1856, I did something which no one saw coming. Like an astronaut of space, I seen the world next to a case. Was the first to tell that the atom was just an empty shell, but a particle is times smaller than itself. Now bear with me, because I ain't got a lot of time. So I'll tell you very quickly that I found out about this when I woke up and saw some strange. These were traveling much further than expected, which I had suspected. So I calculated the mass of the days and the magnetic direction which they were, and realized that this mystery had turned into a discovery. Something was in these atoms, which was negatively charged, and same in every element of the periodic chart. So I named the electrons for the negative charge, and as J. Thompson sold the world for fun in my arms. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Judges, kindly note team NC56 took 53 seconds. I now request team code NC24 to please present their rap. Team code NC24. You are not audible. Ma'am, now I'm audible. Yes, sir. Ma'am, I'm audible now. Yes, yes. Sir. May I say, three, two, one, go. It's an old humble saying that old people stay close to the ground. Doesn't happen on magic. There's something that cracks your own. Of course, it's the force to which everyone is born. You can't see it if you try to find it like out. Don't think it's an illusion. So it's having to discover it when he uses imagination, his chain of thought, finally he's a station with us. Hesitation, he named it gravitation. When it existed, had many debates and examples. Well, the first example was act and apple. It says that Sir Newton and the tree took a tap, and while he was taking a tap on his head, he felt that tap. And the tap from the apple got him into deep. What force it does, it puts the ground to the feet. To say it easily, things it might attract other things. It's proportion to the mass, you can't fly away from a heavy force, even if you had been. So I guess I just need some mass at all because I don't need to see much attraction at all. Einstein made it more complicated, but he said he would simplify it down. But that's another chop, and it's too much for my young man and puts me under frustration. But let me just say, this thing is no illusion, but a force of nature, and we call it gravitation. Thank you. Judges, kindly note, team NC24 took 55 seconds. 
I now request team code NC54 to present their rap. Team code NC54. Yes, ma'am. Am I audible now? Yes, you are. Can I start? Yes, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Just kindly note team code NC54 took 1 minute 23 seconds. I will now invite team code NC65 to present the rap. Team code NC65. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Uh, good evening. My rap is about the law of gravitation by Newton. Yes, Second, I now invite team code NC51 to present the rap. Team code NC51. Am I audible? Hello, uh, am I audible? Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? We can hear you better. Can you be a bit louder? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we are yes, sir. able to hear you better. So, good evening, everyone. I'm Mantavi Mishra from uh, TMS Gomtinagar 1. And... Yeah. Sorry, there is a, some. Uh, just a sec.
Yeah. Let's go. Once I was sitting idly and I just wondered what is the science behind the stars and the clusters, the apple falling down, hitting the boy, sitting under the formation of tight wave cyclone and the thunder, on supplying heat, where does the water disappears? How is the sound produced? That one hears, are they are real or they are for hypothetical? I studied deep so that my doubts get cleared. But never ever I found those things boring for me. Studying physics was always fascinating. Work heat relation is studied in thermodynamics as will remain undefined forever in life physics. Pressure is equally distributed in all directions. A car can never stop without using a friction. I was surprised when I heard about anomalous expansion of reaction as equal and opposite reaction. Thank you. Thank you. Judges, kindly note that team NC51 took 49 seconds. I now invite team code NC36 to present the prep. Team code NC36. Team code NC36. Team code NC36. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I invite team code NC31 to present their rap. Team code NC31 to present the rap. Hello. Hello, good morning, ma'am. Can you hear me? Is this Mantav missing? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm Gurki, let's say. Team code? Uh, NC31. 31. Okay. And 36 is also present now? Uh, Ma'am, I have no idea about that. Okay. Okay. Now you can start with Play the music. Play, play. I'm looking up at the stars and I'm wondering about the whole universe of ours. Like, where does they come from? Where is it going? And what came before the Big Bang explosion? Nobody knows this. And yet we search and held the very first living thing come to Earth. These are the questions that are in my head. But the mystery is beautiful, like Einstein said. And we discovered the stuff inside the atoms. And what's beyond them can be really bad them. But if the layers of the world never really ends, and it's going up forever, there will be intense. Other universes sit in parallel. Is the multiverse real? Can we even tell? And quantum mechanics is so different. The way the particles pop into existence. There could be worlds across space with aliens to know about the human race. The mysteries of life seem bottomless. And how do we explain human consciousness? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, judges, kindly note, team code NC31 took 57 seconds. I would now like to invite the two teams that uh, that we that couldn't join us earlier. That is team NC46, team code NC46, team code NC46 and team code NC36. Okay, over to you, Philip, sir. Thank 
do we have any more teams team code 46 and 36 if you are still there we can give you 2 minutes after after that we will conclude this Ma'am, NC fifty is also here. Five zero. Five zero. Yes, ma'am. Five zero. Okay. Now NC five zero. NC fifty. Are you ready? Speak. Yes. Ma'am, NC forty seven is also here. NC forty seven. Sir, you are introduce yourself. Your camera is on. Good afternoon, ma'am. And pass. Good afternoon, ma'am. And such is present here. I am MC Fifty. I am from Rajendra Nagar Campus One. And I like to perform about cell theory. Can I? Or you can start. Thank you, ma'am. I see these kids in their glycerin, chewing photosynthesis, taking CO2 and making sugar that they need here. They absorb the red and blue light and convert the energy into sugar molecule. Not that some biochemistry is happening really fast in the chloroplast, producing the sugar then dispersing all around the plant. Their dimension, they make oxygen. Who I'm reading that? Yeah, it is the most important process on this earth, and that's how this plant grows. They grow, they grow, they grow. They grow, they grow. They grow, they grow, they grow. Yeah, they grow. And they grow up to the skies, photosynthesize. They even reflect a little green light using red and blue. They grow, they grow, they grow. They grow. They grow. We start with the light reaction, then they can size that. Split the water, get electrons like we energize that. Using that to pump support, and then they flying right back to make ADP and NADPH memorize that. They grow, they grow, they grow. They grow, they grow, they grow. They grow, they grow, they grow. Yeah, they grow. Screens is there, listening. Photosynthesis, taking CO2 and making sugar that delicious. They absorb the red and blue light. They convert the energy into sugar molecule. Now that's some biochemistry. It's happened really fast in the chloroplast, producing all the sugar. Then they spread it all around the plant. Did they mention? Did I mention they make oxygen? Who I'm breathing that? Yeah, it is the most important process on this and this how this plant breathes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Judges, kindly note team code NC fifty took one minute forty seven second. I now invite team code NC forty seven to present the rap. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rishika Basnet of Class Six from Aligarh Campus One, and today I'm going to sing about the invention of steam engine. <laughs> Like a candle in the kitchen or an apple on a tree, or in the bathtub or a bird's flying free. I'll tell you about the inventions for free. We just agree. Mr. James Watt once sitting in his kitchen for an hour, he kept on looking at a candle, a candle in the kitchen, a candle in the kitchen. After some time, he saw the lid shaking by the vapor, lying on its own. He looked inside, he looked around. The steam was lifting. The candle said he found. After thinking a lot, after using his brain, he made a steam engine for the train, and that's why I say, small things are powerful always. Small things are powerful always. Small things are powerful always. Thank you. Thank you. Judges, kindly note team code NC forty seven took fifty seven second. I would now like to recall the two teams again. That is NC forty six and thirty six. If they are here, they may please present their rap. Team code NC forty six. Ma'am, actually, I am not 
for sure with my code can you please say the name instead no we are not allowed to say the name uh, we can only say the school code okay ma'am uh, code nc can is also here nc uh, school code nc 46 and 36 if they are here codes school codes have already been sent to the schools and to the team leaders also so it seems that we have come to the conclusion of the program and let us uh, let me ask excuse admit. me sir yes so nc10 is also here it's me nc10 are you ready yes i am ready you may present your rap all right good afternoon everyone this is shor sarin from interpress international school i am going to present a rap on newton's third law of motion hope you enjoy look it's time we talk about physics it's everywhere it works even when you say Let's talk about Newton's third law of motion. You think it's nothing more than just a commotion. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. It's a hit. Every impact, every interaction. You fire a gun, it thrusts to your side. You light a balloon, it goes up in the sky. Step out of the boat, it will move back through a ball of ice, and you will skate way back. Why is that? It's because of third law of motion. You think it's nothing more than just a commotion. law about forces equal and opposite there's one man who gave time and compose it it's isaac newton who is a genius his intelligence and knowledge are always congenious yes he gave us the third law of motion you think it's nothing more than just a commotion third law of motion you think it's nothing more than just a commotion yeah third law of motion you think it's nothing more than just a commotion thank you thank you judges kindly note the team code nc10 took 54 seconds a final call if there is any team which is yet to perform thank you so much for joining uh, dear participants and uh, it's time to listen to our judges uh, uh, if you have any inputs i request no, 64 bol bolna swati swati bol bolo hello excuse me ma'am yes uh, nc64 uh, our turn hasn't come nc64 are you ready yes okay NC sixty four, please present. Hello, everyone. I am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Hello, everyone. I'm Swati Bhatia, and I'm I'm from School Holy Heart Presidency School. I'm going to present a rap on theory of relativity. And a ball like me. Let's go. I rap. of relativity i'm going to try to make it easy to explain it a lot of people think this topic like the needle in the brain so let me mix the baby for you swati is my name the theory was created by albert einstein who actually blew up a big in mind it does sound like it was a combined alien but hold on even want to say it's a lie the idea number one is that the laws of physics are the same for each and every non accelerating body is not in no way Let us get confusing. You just need to know that everything is moving. Universe is so big that it's infinite, which means you could never reach the end of it. Energy is equal to the mass times square of speed of light. That is, they are the different forms of same things. But this rap was a challenge, but I learned a lot. I'm feeling hella proud. So now must say people will meet next time. Okay, bye. Thank you. Judges, kindly note team code NC sixty four took one minute.
So now we would like to request our esteemed judges to share your inputs. Kindly share what you feel about these young rappers and share your experience and also motivate them, encourage them and guide them to improve. Over to our judges. Okay, ladies first, we're going like that. Yeah, yeah, ladies first, <laughs> always. Jai Jagat, everybody. It's an honor and I'm really pleased uh, to be one of the juries here. And it's really, I'm really pleased to uh, judge all these Marvi students, kids here, so much enriched, you know, uh, that sort of innovation, that sort of uh, creativity, it's, it's amusing. And um, you know what, I can relate to it because I have been a student of City Montessori School and this branch and uh, the teachers have always egged on us and um, have uh, given uh, wings to our creativity. And uh, that is what has uh, made CMS students us uh, be where we are today. And uh, yes, I loved the performance of all the students. And uh, you could just see my expressions. I was just swinging here and there. Um, if um, we could have given this, we could have um, uh, ha had a stage here. I could have like frolicked and danced. And these kids are superb. What do I uh, say? They're, they're beautiful, they're lovely, loved it, loved it. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. Uh, may I request our other judges also to share your input? So would you like to go first? Uh, well, uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, the faculty of City Montessori. I'm basically based in Bombay. So this is uh, a new for me for, to come to Lucknow and <laughs> be a part of, uh, you know, judging such amazing talent from your school and your city. Uh, for me, all of these kids are winners. We cannot judge them uh, and, you know, and they cannot be judged for their creativity and talent based on our points. We are here today only to judge their uh, uh, performance today based on today what we saw. I'd like to tell all of the participants, you all are winners. None of you are losers. So do not be disheartened if you lose out today. It's, it's not a loss. This is nothing uh, compared to what, uh, you know, your future holds for you. And uh, don't stop creating. Be innovative, be creative, and uh, just do what you got to do. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, sir. Mike is mute. You're on Sorry, mute. Audible. Mr. Frale? You're on mute, sir. Yes. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, now. Uh, good afternoon. And uh, I'd like to thank the faculty for calling me in. Uh, one thing I noticed, the students are very brilliant. That's, uh, you can see everywhere, but they are using technology. Technology is a boon and they are using it very wisely. When they are singing and the beats, they are using the backdrop, which means they are uh, intelligent. So that's a good point. And uh, when it comes to singing, singing is also very good. And, uh, everything is good. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, uh, ma'am Swati wants to add a point. Yes, you're most welcome, ma'am. I want to add here some, yeah. Um, the thing is, um, because I'm from this uh, school, this branch, it's been just not an institute for me. It's been a family. Yesterday I was getting really emotional when my name was announced and everything because the teachers are just not like um, uh, teachers. They are like mothers to us. They're like, I mean, 
I, I can't even express how I am feeling right now. Uh, I'm like a chatterbox, though. I keep on, uh, I, I just wrap it on everything. But the zone is completely different right now. And um, the thing is, I want to thank each one of you. And please stop calling me, ma'am. Please. <laughs> this, this is like really embarrassing for me. Please stop calling me, ma'am. Uh, and principal, ma'am, uh, you are the captain of the ship. Uh, you said, ma'am, and I was like, no, please, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. There is no better honor for a teacher, uh, Swati Beta, when a teacher can call her own students, ma'am. There is no greater honor than that. That the student has reached a level where the student needs to be called ma'am. So we are honored to have had you here at this virtual platform. It was wonderful. And I'm sure with people of your caliber, the three of you, the judgment of the event is going to be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Everyone. It has been an honor for us. And your teachers, uh, Swati, ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> are your uh, Singh ma'am and Sushil ma'am are standing right beside me in the office and they are watching you. They have enriched us with uh, so much potency, tenacity, you know, that, you know, that thing keeps us going. That's constant. Whenever every sphere, every CMS student, every sphere he goes to, that thing is constant. That power that they give us you know, to stand firm and stronger. So that is what I have got from the family. I would just call it the family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You. We're all together. COVID or no COVID? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much once again. All our esteemed judges, all the participating teams, we come to the end of this online uh, event. We meet again tomorrow for the prize distribution and closing ceremony. I would request you all to join tomorrow. The link has already been shared uh, for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Jai Jagat. Thank you and Jai Jagat. Thank you and Jai Jagat. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am.